Hey gang, Dan from MarkingTheClever.com. I'm here to show you something from a couple different angles. This was on my Instagram first, and some of you said make a tutorial. So here we are. This is a stepper motor. This is a rumble board, which is the same thing as a Arduino Mega and a ramps shield put together. It's normally made for driving one, two, three, four, five, six stepper motors. So then the wires for one stepper motor, these ones, go into here and the I used some of the wires that normally go for sensors for limit switches and for power and I ran those through here up to this AS5147 sensor and under here you can see there's a magnet on the end of that piece of plastic the plastic keeps the magnet from touching the metal shaft and holds it right above that chip it has to be really close like you get a margin of error of about a half a millimeter so I'm kind of amazed that works at all the way it's wobbling um, I drew a little spiral on the side so it's easier to see when it's turning or where it's turning. On the screen, you will also see there's the sawtooth pattern that is reported by the Arduino as it moves the motor. You, know, you see that once in a while it goes to like one degree past the limit, so it gives us a little spike here. Okay, so I'm not gonna bore you with the code here and now. That comes on in the blog post that is linked under this video. So you click the link, you get the blog post, you can read all the code, you can download it from GitHub, and you can learn how to use the stepper motor, and you can learn how to use the sensor. And there'll be some other stuff there about like, why does that matter? What do you, why do you need that for robotics? And why would you want an absolute position sensor like this over say an encoder, which is only counts the number of relative steps instead of absolute steps. Great, that's all I had to say. Short and sweet. I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Goodbye.